Yeah, hey. What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your x-rays. And this is a Q&A with X-Ray Ray. Let's go! So first of all, I just wanted to say happy holidays to everybody out there. Hope y'all are staying safe and healthy and making the best out of the current situation. Special shout out to those of you who have pre-ordered your badge reel and or technique card. Super, super excited to get those out to you. All of your personal messages were so dope. Thank you so much for sharing. I even got a little, a little emotional breathing. It's definitely a surreal feeling connected with all of you. Now, if you are still interested in pre-ordering, I have about 100 or so left uh, spots, uh, pre-orders uh, available at the time of this recording. So please email me at xrayrayc at gmail.com and please let me know what option you are interested in. If you want the badge reel, the uh, technique card, or if you want both. The badge holder, the reel is $8. The technique card is 14 and if you would like both as a set, it's 20 bucks. Again, please let me know which option you're interested in, your mailing address, and I'll leave the ways you can pay me on the screen here or down below in the description. And if you already pre-ordered, please check your inbox as I had sent an email out over this past weekend. So um, I'm just gonna answer some questions, some random questions uh, from the comment sections uh, without getting into too much detail. It's, uh, it's very difficult for me as I'm learning and I'm you know going through this YouTube channel um, to obviously go through every subject. So hopefully this helps a little with uh, some of the questions that you may have out there. And also please, if you have an answer to any of these questions, any of the questions in the comment section, uh, please feel free to reply to them. You know, I want to have this as a uh, community that we can all just go on and find information that we can't from other sources out there. Because as I mentioned, you know, I'm just trying to make something that I wish I had when I was a student. And getting information on radiology was just so scarce, was just so difficult. Um, I honestly got into it just kind of blind, just knowing that I was getting into a good career and whatever happened, happened. So hopefully, you know, you're well, you're more well informed than I was getting into the program. Also, due to the high volume in emails and messages, comments regarding advice, consultation, I'm offering time sessions through Zoom to get through to more people more efficiently and more effective. This can be anything from advice about the program, the boards, positioning, manual techniques, etc. I'm also able to zoom from my x-ray room to show you positioning tips. So if this interests you, please email me. All right, first question. Um, this is from Patrice B. I want to do radiology tech program so bad, I feel it's my passion, but I'm so scared of the physics class. How hard was the physics class? <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so uh, physics was probably uh, the most difficult uh, subject in the program. Just to, you know, grasp the concept um, in such a little time. So, and then, so to answer the question, how hard was the physics class? It was pretty hard, it was difficult. Um, I just, obviously I passed it, I just got by. It's definitely gonna take more time and effort um, out of your day, out of your schedule to uh, get through the class to, to pass it. Next question um, is from Jenna Bryan. I'm getting ready to take my boards in about a month. I need all the advice leading up to them as I can get. How many hours a day should I study? What did you use? This answer is gonna vary from student to student. And um, I highly recommend during the program, you just study your ass off. You soak in, you marinate all the information you can. You try to understand every concept you can to your best ability. Um, that way, you know, when the time does come to study for the boards, um, honestly, like for me, after I graduated, I might have studied maybe like a couple hours here, a couple hours there. I don't know, maybe six hours a day. Um, but it comes to a point where it's like your brain can take so much knowledge. And it's like you're already kind of drilling 
stuff in your head that's already there that you that you uh, learn from the program. Um, so I always tell you know up and coming students or students in the program that are about to take the boards, you want to get to a level where your brain is like telling you like, dude, like stop studying. There's so much you can study. You already studied everything in Merrill's. You already studied everything out there that's radiology. Like there's nothing else to study. When you reach that point and like you're searching for what else should I study for? I feel like that is the point where you're good, bro. You're good, girl, all right? Like just just chill, relax, like you're good. Um, you'll, you'll, be, you'll do fine. And then what did I use? Uh, in my program, we used uh, Correct Tech, which is basically kind of like uh, some online software that you, you take practice exams that goes over each category that the boards goes over. I found it really helpful. And then we also used um, this, uh, I think it's called Lang, the Yellow Books. We also used that as well. Uh, my class as a collective, we pitched in and we also purchased uh, mock exams from uh, the ASRT website. And that helped as well. And honestly, that's all I studied. And then obviously, um, cumulative of my notes, I didn't throw away any of my notes. Obviously, I don't know why you would, but you know, the, the tests, all the tests I took, you know, I just studied that. And that's that's basically it. And then what's neat with uh, Correct Tech, um, I'm pretty sure other, other programs out there that help you get ready for boards, um, they kind of, give you percentage and they show you what your uh, weaknesses and your strengths were. You know, whatever my weaknesses was, you know, I just kind of focused on that because like, why am I gonna get better at my other strengths? And so I just focused on my weaknesses and yeah, I uh, passed. Next question um, is from Araceli Gonzalez. How long is a board exam? What's the passing score? How many times can you take it? Is it free? When you were an intern, did you get paid? Um, okay, so how long is a board exam? The board exam is three and a half hours long. What's the passing score? 75% and above. How many times can you take it? You can take it three times. Is it free? No, it's about 200 something. Uh, I'll have to find it and put it somewhere here. Um, and when I was an intern, did I get paid? No. <laughs> But where I interned at, which is awesome, they uh, supplied free food, free lunch. Um, I know some, some programs, they have a stipend. I'm not sure if they still do that. Uh, but so basically what that is, is, you know, they would pay you as an intern. And you know what, Araceli Gonzalez, uh, you posted another comment that I did not reply to, but I feel like um, these are all great questions. So I'm gonna answer them. So you left another message and any tips for applying to a program? When you got accepted, did you have C's from classes? Interview tips? Do you have to write a paper as to why you wanted to get accepted or why you are somebody that should get chosen? Please respond, hope you see my comment, thank you. Also, did you regret anything that you wish you could have done differently in applying? So the first question, any tips apl for applying to a program? My tip is to not put all of your eggs in one basket. Um, so apply to several programs, but basically what, you know, with all the programs, just do your best in your prereqs. Don't fail, uh, get a C and above, um, get them done ASAP. Don't wait. One thing I wish I didn't do, one thing I wish I would have done is get my name on the waiting list ASAP. I still remember to this day, like, I don't know, man, I was young and I was just stupid, but <laughs> Um, I got down my prerequisites and for whatever reason, I was lazy. I didn't want to go to my college for whatever reason that day or that week or something like that to get my name on the waiting list. So I literally, I think waited, waited like a week or something like that. And when I put my name on the waiting list, come to find out later on that year, month or whatever, um, that if I would have gone earlier, like a week earlier, I would have gotten into the program a year earlier. So that one week or whatever, those couple days, sent me back one year. What? So don't procrastinate. Uh, when I got accepted, did you have C's from classes? Uh, I'm typically an A and B student, but I know I had, you know, one C here and there. I honestly, I can't tell you what classes they were, but hmm, interview tips. Um, I did have a video about interviews. So click 
click the link above. Just be yourself. I uh, practice, 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 practice with your family, so your significant other, whoever, just to get the jitters out. Take a deep breath in, blow it out, <laughs> and uh, just. I'd rather you talk slow than fast. When anytime when you talk too fast, it just seems like you're scared, you're nervous. So just take your time. Um, always thank them for the opportunity. Um, do your research about where you're applying to. It's always a big plus when you kind of know the history. Dress nice, uh, smell nice. Uh, you always want to stand out some way, somehow. Um, so don't be average. I want to say every interview I have, they always mention something about how I dressed. So, and come prepared with your own questions because at the end of your interview, they always ask, they always ask, you know, do you have any questions? And a lot of people say no. Use that time to ask any questions that you may have. And then the next question, there are some programs where you do have to write a paper as why you want to get accepted. Um, my program, I did not. Um, and uh, did I regret anything that I wish I could have done differently in applying? Oh, well, I kind of mentioned that. I wish I was not lazy. My lazy ass was not lazy. And I don't know, man. I, I still don't know why. I was just late. I think I was just playing video games, man. Us. But, but yeah, that was probably my, um, my biggest mistake is waiting that week or that weekend. I don't, even, I don't remember, but either way, when you get your prereqs done, go that next day, go that day if you can, and get your name on that waiting list or whatever it is. All right, <laughs> it will save you a year. And with that, I think that will do for uh, this, my very first q and It's kind of rough recording this. I'm not sure how this is all gonna be when it's all edited and done but I did it. I finally conquered this Q&A. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do this more often for you guys. Um, I got a new MacBook. Ooh, the M1 chip. If you, if you are interested in getting a MacBook and you've been on the fence, man, this M1 chip, this Apple M1 chip is amazing compared to the Intels. I'm gonna be kind of nerdy on you right now, but this right here, cause I was waiting for a 16 inch. This is only a 13 and it's the M1 chip. It's like the base model. It is super crispy, fast. Oh my God. Anyways, just, I recommend it. This is not sponsored by Apple. But um, what, what, what was I getting with that? <laughs> so now that I got that, I'm really trying to be more productive, more efficient uh, with getting these videos out to you. I have a lot of unfinished videos. I mean, just videos, positionings that I took. Long story short, I'm gonna try to push out more videos out to you guys, all right? Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you found value from this video, press that like button, subscribe for my X-ray content, and share this video with others who may find it valuable. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays, y'all. You have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking X-rays. Oh, I love baby, peace.